take a look at the sunrise. Sunrise not officially until 726, but we are getting there. Get those cameras out because we do have a few high passing clouds out there. So some areas are going to have a beautiful sunrise. It was splashes of pinks and yellows and orange. Beautiful start to the day, but a chilly start to the day. Temperatures sitting in those 30s and 40s, and that's because we have this cold air mass that's going to continue to remain in place. Now, you see some of this moisture here just off to the west of us. That's what we're watching by lunchtime. There is a chance that maybe we see a little bit of this moisture plume kind of push into our area around lunchtime. That could give us a few sprinkles, but that's all we're really expecting. More than anything, we're just going to continue to generate some of these high clouds through that lunchtime hour and then clearing out through the afternoon into the evening. This cold air mass not going anywhere. We're going to start the weekend off with this cold air and chilly morning. So be prepared for another chilly morning tomorrow morning. And then we're going to be in between these two systems here. So we have this dominant ridge of high pressure off to the west of us. And to tomorrow we're going to be in between these two, which means we will have some gusty winds pick up tomorrow. Those winds will last into Sunday. And as this ridge of high pressure builds back into our area, we're gradually going to start to warm up Sunday into the early part of next week. And by Halloween, you're actually looking at temperatures for afternoon highs back in those 70s. So we will continue to have those chilly mornings, but at least the afternoons are going to feel nice and warm and we're going to see plenty of sun as well. Speaking of those winds, we will have a wind advisory going into effect tomorrow morning, starting at 8 a.m., lasting throughout the day on Sunday. This expires at 5 p.m. on Sunday. This is going to be for the Santa Cruz Mountains and the eastern hills of the Santa Clara Valley there. North northeast winds 20 to 30 miles per hour gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Now I do think the strongest winds are going to remain to the north of us in the Bay Area, but it doesn't mean we can't see some gusty winds, especially where we're seeing this advisory. So we are going to also see a fire weather watch going into effect tomorrow, early tomorrow, lasting throughout the day on Sunday. So this is all weekend long. Again, this includes the Santa Cruz Mountains and the Eastern Hills, the Diablos, by the way, of Santa Clara Valley there. Uh, we are going to see some gusty winds, but more so very low relative humidity, anywhere between 15 to 25 percent, which is very low for us. So any outdoor burning is just highly not recommended this weekend. I know a lot of you, maybe it's a tradition to have that bonfire outside for Halloween, maybe make those s'mores. I know that's a thing for some people during the fall. Just uh, try to avoid any of those open flames this weekend. We are going to continue to see some scattered clouds this morning into this lunchtime hour. Again, a very slight chance that we could see some sprinkles out there around lunch, but that's about it. And then we are going to start to clear out during the afternoon into the evening. And we're going to see mostly clear skies throughout the overnight hours as well. Uh, that's going to mean another chilly night for us and a chilly start today. More 30s and 40s across the central coast tomorrow morning. Temperatures this afternoon not warm at all either. We're only going to be in those mid 60s for the Santa, Cru or Santa Cruz area, I should say, on the north side of the bay. For the San Lorenzo Valley, we'll be in those mid to upper 60s. Those higher elevations, Bonnie Dune in the summit area, only upper 50s to low 60s. So you can tell we have this dry, cold air mass in place. For the rest of the coast from Aptos down into Mar Marina, you can expect those temperatures in those mid 60s, upper 60s for Salinas as well as Hollister, mid to upper 60s for the Santa Clara Valley. Heading down to the Monterey Peninsula, you can expect mainly low 60s for the peninsula this afternoon, 63 for Monterey, only 60 for Pebble. And heading to the Salinas Valley, this is where we're going to see slightly warmer temperatures, those low 70s for most of the valley. We're going to see those low 70s as you head toward the county line, upper 60s for the Big Sur Coast and mid 60s for the Carmel Valley. So make sure to have that jacket and a few extra layers throughout the day today and be prepared for another chilly night.